Dude, Ginger Jesus got 20 million votes. Dude, the governor of California only got like 4 million. Like in all of California. Ginger Jesus should run for governor. Coming to you pre-tape from the Best Coast Show Studios. This is the Best Coast Show. I'm your host, Albert Aguilera. That's my producer, Curtis Sage. Curtis, we have six, count them, six players going to the All-Star game. Is, that's awesome. Yeah. That's I saw them all on a plane yesterday, like drinking, sh sipping champagne. Oh, with a group photo. What are they celebrating? I want to. Why are you sipping champagne? What are you celebrating? Hey, instead of staying home and re re uh, relaxing and resting and seeing the the trainer, I think they're gonna have fun. Kershaw's not pitching. Woods gonna maybe get a couple batters, maybe an inning. Kenley might get a couple batters, maybe. Corey's gonna play two innings, three innings, possibly. It's not that big of a deal. And they're they're traveling across the country for a meaningless game where I don't know Alex Wood could like throw out his arm. You're so worried about this, or Mid or some idiot can like spike Sexy Seager trying to break up a double play. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know that anybody's gotten hurt in an All Star game in the last ten years. I think that been there hasn't any been any serious injuries in an All Star game. And this All Star Not game, saying it can't happen. Freak accidents happen. Does this All Star game count? No, they don't count anymore. They don't count anymore. No, they don't count so whoever anymore. Wins so this, it's even good. more meaningless. Okay, so it's just a road show. Yeah. It's just a fun show. Okay. Uh, hey, well, listen, we have a Dodgers episode today. Welcome, Dodgers Nation, uh, back for the Best Coast Show. Uh, Dodgers, of course, are in first place. Since our last episode, we've gained like nine games in the standings. We're, we've got the best record in baseball at the break at 61-29, uh, 61 wins, amazing at the break. I mean, I don't think the Dodgers, they've never done that before. They're seven and a half games in front of Arizona. Our run differential, of course, is a mind-blowing 163 runs. I, I can't even Highest wrap my head. Highest in major league history at the break. I can't even wrap my head around that. We've got the six All-Stars, uh, which Albert's not happy about, plus the Home Run Derby, which Albert's also not happy about. I'm not happy. I hate these things. And let's start the show, though, talking about kind of the All-Stars and Justin Turner, our sixth, fifth, oh, fifth out of the six All-Star, because Alex Wood was the Alex sixth. Alex Wood was the last guy. Uh, and Kenley Jansen, because you have a little bone to pick with Kenley. Are we going to pick the bone with Kenley first, or are we going to do other stuff first? I'd say let's pick the bone with Kenley first. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, okay, Dodger Nation, thank you for tuning in with us again. Now, I, as a native Angelino, something Curtis is not. Okay. I took, I took, <laughs> no, nah, you were, I've been, I've been you were not since born since here. You were, you grew up here. Yeah, like 40 Doesn't matter. You, you lived here longer been. than I've been alive. Yes. But I am born and raised here. I've I say, more. I say, I say build that wall around California. I've, well, forget, I say that forget too. Forget the wall that Trump is trying to build that separates us from yeah. Mexico. Build the wall around California. Oh, I'm for that too. Because it, they're just, you out of state people are just causing traffic. Okay. <laughs> Go back to Minnesota. Go back to Minnesota. Whatever, whatever. Anyways. I'm, I'm all on board on the best coast. Okay. What are you talking? I right. wouldn't be on the show. Oh, that's right. You have that weird diet now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You've assimilated. It's a weird diet. It is a weird diet. I just don't want to die, Albert. It, it, we're so, all going to die at some point. I'm not eating we're Tommy all burgers we're all at 11.45 at night like doesn't you doesn't matter. Do. doesn't matter. What if, what if like, you die tomorrow and you like miss out on years worth of like eating Tommy awesome burgers? stuff? You didn't tell me Tommy's isn't good? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Whatever. Any, anyways, Kenley Jensen. Let's talk about this guy. Yes. So you guys saw it. Kenley was like, oh, it's Dodger fans. It's their fault that that sexy Seager and Ginger Jesus didn't get voted in as starters and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And half right, kind of, right? Because who else is going to vote for him? Oh, that's right. Everybody in the National League West cities voted for him except for the people of Colorado. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, MLB put out the stats as to who voted for who and where the most votes came from based on position and blah, blah, blah. Now, they broke it off based off divisions. San Francisco, San Francisco, the people of San Francisco, thank you very much because you guys did help us. They helped Seager and Turner. Well, they don't have a third base. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. Do <laughs> you think I'm going to be voting for any kind of giant? No. Absolutely not. But the people of San Francisco apparently have, uh, they're cool with us apparently right now. Okay. The, Ginger Jesus and Sexy Seager are so good that the majority of the shortstop third baseman votes in the Bay Area came from San Francisco specifically, nice. the city of San Francisco. And then same thing with Arizona, same thing with San Diego. Thank you, Padres. Same thing with Los Angeles, obviously. You, well, know, the who, you listen, know who didn't? Hold on Colorado. A well, that's Kenley obvious. Kenley Jensen should be upset with the people of Colorado. Well, Colorado has Nolan Arenado. So? 
I mean, he's the best third baseman in baseball. I'm sorry, but he really is. Is he? Is he batting he, 385? No, but but he's not batting 385. Okay, he's not, he's batting, not batting 385. But every other stat, he's ahead of Justin Turner on. Because he's played more games. And he's the best actual defensive third baseman in baseball. There's no denying All that right, he's the I, best I'm third gonna baseman. Tell, I'm going to tell Justin you said that. Uh, no, listen. I'm, I'm going to tweet Courtney with K, and I'm going to let her know that you said that. Okay. He, Justin is get right behind him. He's right behind him. I love Justin. I kissed him last time. I'm going to do it again. You're a liar. I'm a, I love Justin. You're a liar. There's a reason why Colorado voted for Norlin Arenado. He is a really great player. No, I get it. And, I, and it would make sense that the most votes came based on the individual cities. Yeah. But for all these cities that are National League West cities, yes. to vote in our guys was awesome. But, Except for Colorado because of what you just mentioned. But for Kenley Jensen to be like, no, it's Dodger fans' fault. It's like, uh, listen, well, listen, you just signed a four-year, $90 million deal. Don't tell me that it's our fault that someone didn't get voted in. It is our fault that you got that much money because <laughs> we, we lead the league in attendance every year. We're paying his contract. We have led the league in attendance every year since 2000. You know when we did not lead the league in attendance? In 99? In 2001. Oh. And you know who we lost out to? Yankees? The Yankees. Okay. And they unfortunately, went to the World it's Series. because, you know, we had the events of 9-11, and I'm oh. pretty sure that really did help the Mets and the Yankees in their attendance, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But we came in second place that year. But Dodger fans show up. We may show up in the second inning because of traffic. Okay, so let's get but to this. But we show up, and I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I am livid with Kenley Jensen blaming it on Dodger fans because these guys didn't get voted in as the start. Livid. Wow, that's a that's a big one. I am you. upset. You're upset. I'm not. I think that he helped spur on 20 million votes, 20.8 out of million spite. votes. We did it out of spite. No, we didn't. We did it out of the love for JT. It was people said, in oh, spite of, in spite of maybe, Kenley Jensen. Maybe we do need to get out there and vote. And people voted, voted, voted. They had Pantone 264 at the stadium voting. Is it like, 294? I mean, 294 at the state. Sorry, Pantone 294. Pantone 294 voting. Okay, and, and here, here's the thing. Again, constant can't, voting. Can't, uh, constant voting. Guys, I've talked about this on numerous episodes. I don't like my players playing in meaningless games, the Olympics, the All-Star games, exhibitions, just garbage games, right? I don't, I don't, I don't believe in my, especially in the middle of the season. And you're going to say Los Angeles, Los, Los Angelinos. You can't even say because you're not a Los Angelino. You're going to say Angelinos don't have anything better to do. No, we do have things that are better to do. Oh, okay. Listen, we do I don't. Have things that... I don't have the time to sit there, log in, vote twenty-five times, and I'm not just voting for Justin Turner, right? You got to fill out your card for the National League, fill it out for the American League, yeah. do it again. You got to do it twenty-five times. How long does that take? I don't know. I don't do it. A couple. You minutes. You got to do it twenty-five times, and then they're like, "Oh, you can vote with twenty-five different emails." I'm not about to make twenty-four other emails. So we could and blame you, do you for no. Do you think Kenley <laughs> Jensen did that? I don't believe for a second he even voted once. And you know who voted one time? Who? Brandon McCarthy. Well, he voted. He casted yeah. his one vote for Justin Turner. I think players do vote. I'm sure they do, but do you think they do what they're telling us to do? Yeah. You have one job. You're getting paid $93 million to do one job for like 15 minutes every other night. Well, here's the deal. Listen, he has the time here's the to deal. do it. Here's the deal. Forget about him and forget. Here's the deal. There's just like you said a second ago, we have the most fans going through the turnstiles. So they should listen, make people vote at the stadium. Why they got rid of the physical ballots? Yes, there's there you go. Now I so understand. Once people I understand walk one of the, the reasons they got rid of it. We have the highest attendance because for those of you who don't know, we have the largest baseball only stadium in North America that seats over fifty six thousand. Yeah. So it wouldn't be fair to like let's say Boston, right? Who only seats like thirty two. Too bad. I know, but too bad. We have eighteen million people that live in Los Angeles County. And I think all of them voted for Justin Turner. Um, but they weren't voting during the all-star voting because... We know. don't have the time. If Los Angelinos really? are not stuck in traffic, if they're not stuck in traffic... So you're they're... proving Kenley right. You're, Kenley got mad at Angelinos for not voting. He got mad at Dodger fans. Or Dodger fans, both. But he got mad at but Dodger fans for What I'm trying to tell voting. him is that, listen, bro... We we all have like lives and and like normal things. We're not and I millionaires. Think that's what he was. I, I can assure you that if the people watching this and listening to me right now were millionaires who had nothing better to do, they would sit there and vote. No, all they would just day. hire somebody. Like, like I'm surprised. I, like I'm surprised. why aren't you hiring Saul? Just let's get our. I'm assistant sure we could. We have a new assistant today, Saul. Saul, come over here, Saul. <laughs> uh, we don't don't trip we on replaced, anything. Saul. Uh, we replaced Dave for the day, guys. This is Saul. Saul, say hello to the internet. So Saul could vote for you. He could okay, vote Saul, for me. Okay, Saul, get out of there. Get yeah. out of there. So <laughs> he, he, could, he could vote for me, but he didn't. Um, but 
going to it, it's like if if the people listening to me right now were millionaires who had nothing else to do because they were millionaires and they didn't yeah. have they didn't have to go to their jobs, sit in traffic for two three hours a day, had a bunch of shit to do. Like it's cool if you voted. I voted the, like a couple hundred a times. times, right? And then during the texting thing, okay, how long does it take for you to vote JT? Uh, what is it? Vote I'm N2 or 35. something or N5? That doesn't take any time. A minute. But, but to be there, like, I tip my hat to the Pantone people because who the hell has the time to be there all day, every day like they were? Yeah. I don't have that kind okay, of time. I get that. It's like like the people that go camp out for, like, movies. It's like, you're an adult now. I used to do that in high school because I didn't have a job or responsibility or bills. But, like, you're an adult now. Like, yeah. we have shit to do. I'm sorry. Like, we have things to do. So you're saying do. in Cincinnati they didn't have Small a lot of- Small market teams have nothing better to do. And here, it, not everyone is a sports fan or a Dodger fan or a baseball fan. People that are, like you said, 18 million people, some could care less about baseball. Now, you're also saying, too, you've also talked about on this show that it's part of this is Time Warner's fault. Or Spectrum. Spectrum. It is. Yeah. And there's a lot of bloggers online that were like, oh, the fact that the TV deal blacks out people has absolutely nothing to do with it. Shut up. Yes, it does. It, it four does. years. For four years. There's little kids that but, don't even yeah. know what the Dodgers look like. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, there's a couple of, uh, of, of writers and bloggers online that are in their 40s and 50s that are hey. like, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you don't fall into this only because I know you're like technologically advanced. Yeah. But these 40, 50-year-old bloggers and, and, and writers for various newspapers and outlets are like, oh, well, real fans listen on the radio. And I never had that problem when I was growing up because I was listening on the radio. Shut up. You know who listens to Dodger games on the radio? People that are in their cars. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are a lot. Yeah, we are. But your number one go to is not let me listen to a Dodger game. It's let me watch a Dodger game. Visual stimuli. Okay. Yeah. And it's like for four years, people couldn't do that and yes. still can't. And they probably won't next year. So don't tell me that the radio, oh, that's your number one option. No, it's not. Shut up. Yeah. The radio. Yeah. No, I need visual stimuli. I need to know what Joe Davis looks like. Have you seen that man? He's, 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 good he's looking. handsome. He's handsome. He's we've, handsome. We've had him on the show. Yeah. If you haven't seen so, that, we've had him on the show. Uh, it, I, it's like you're, you're excommunicating an entire generation of people. Like, according to like Generation X and Y, and you know, how they group generations like millennials. Yeah. It's an eight to twelve year window. Okay, yes. so you've already gotten rid of fifty percent of a, the next window for four years. People have not been able to see games. Yes, next but, year they won't either. That's five years. You've eliminated half of a window of a generation. My nephews and niece and, and nieces, because I have three nieces, don't watch Dodger games because they can't. Well, okay? they can. They no, can well, watch Dodger games. They, Let's talk about that. They can. They can. Okay, so guys. Some of you are now listening to me rant because this episode we're going to – wait, let me rephrase that. Our legal team has informed us, <laughs> let you know that wait, this is – Wait, we have a legal team? Yeah, we, and they're going to be here on Friday. I'm taking them to Magic Castle. Oh, okay. They're yeah. flying in from Texas. Nice. Yeah, we good have a legal team. Good thing we have one. So, yes. So our legal team has informed us that this, this segment and this information is for entertainment purposes only. Literally for yes. entertainment purposes only. Yes. So you're asking yourself, well – you know, this idiot and that idiot have been talking forever. When are they going to tell us how to watch Dodger games when we can't? I think that's, that's right now. Okay. Okay, so guys, the let's go. Number one, the easiest and fastest and quickest option to watching Dodger games today. Go to the stadium. Today, no, that is not the fastest <laughs> option. God, no, that is not the fastest option. Uh, sometimes I'll get hit up, hey, you want to go to the game? I got tickets. And I'm kind of like, uh, that's going to take us like two hours to get there right now because it's 4.30. And you only live 15 miles away. I live 16.2 miles north of Dodger Stadium. And at, at 4 o'clock, yeah. like if I'm going to a game, it's got to be planned out. And I, if it's spur of the moment, it's because I'm in the Hollywood area, so I can just take like Sunset into Alvarado. Yeah. But if I'm at home and it's spur of the moment, I need to leave my house like at 3 or 4 3 just 15. so I can get there by 5.36. Yeah. If I leave at 5 or 6, I won't make first pitch. No. No. For sure not. No. We'll be there in the second, third inning. So that is not... The easiest okay. and quickest way. So what's the easiest? The easiest and quickest way is that you, by chance, live in a sports net spectrum neighborhood. And you how many to, people are there? How many people I live don't know. in a sports net? No two clue. million? Maybe. Out of the 18 million in Los Angeles County, two million? Maybe. I have no clue. Yeah. But if you happen to live in this neighborhood, you just go you know, channel 68, and there's there's Joe Davis. And, and Oral. And Oral Hershiser. Nice. And they're going to be rapping to Eminem, and you get to watch a Dodger game. Now, most of you are kind of like, well, stupid, I don't live in a sports... That's me. Yeah, so that's why I'm watching this episode. Well, 
Second option, you could be an out-of-market person like Taylor Nielsen, our, our buddy who Dodger Reddit. He's in or, Vegas. Or our friends over at the Scully Avenue podcast. Vince is up in San Francisco and Snyder's in Utah. Somewhere in Utah. Did yeah. you guys know that Snyder has season seats and comes from Utah? That's know, dedication. That is crazy. That's that's dedication. I won't go to the stadium. I live 16 miles away. He could probably get there quicker. Plane. That's true. He probably could. <laughs> Flying to Burbank. When, when we had Marika <laughs> here last week, when she left Las Vegas, I left my house, and I raced her to LAX. The only reason I got to LAX from the Valley before she did from Las Vegas is because her plane got delayed. Yeah. That's Otherwise, only... she would have beat you. Otherwise, she would have beat me. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So option number one, live in a sports net neighborhood. Option number two, be out of market and have MLB.TV, and then because you're out of market, you can then watch the games. Okay, how about now, number three? Here's where it gets good. This is where it gets good for you guys watching. Okay, option number three, and what we've seen is the most popular option, is you can go out, again, entertainment purposes only. We're not telling you what to do. Curtis, people listening to us could go out, grab themselves a Cody, What's a Cody? A Cody, Cody like, Bellinger? Oh, that'd be awesome, but no. If it was shaped like Cody's head? No, a Cody's <laughs> a little device, kind of like a, 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 an Amazon Fire Stick or the okay. Chromecast. You go okay. out, get yourself a Cody. Yes. You attach it to your computer or to your uh, television, and it works like any other app. So like, if you guys are familiar with the Amazon Fire Stick or the, the Chromecast, you pop it into the side of your television or the side of your laptop, and then it, it comes up as an app. So you go into the Cody uh, app, and then you select, Sports, MLB, or baseball. I don't know what it says. It either says MLB or baseball. And then you look for Los Angeles Dodgers. In the event that there is a game on, you can then watch it. Really? Yeah. And if you have it on your laptop and you also have Chromecast, you can Chromecast it to your television. Sure. So, so that's see. that's option number three. And that's high quality. That's Yeah, that's, that's like legit high quality. Okay. This is illegal, though. It is technically. technically illegal. That's why this is for entertainment purposes well, only. We don't make any money on and it. And we don't make any money. Yeah. But... But I'm going to defend the Dodger fans listening to me right now and, and tell whoever may get upset that, listen, if you gave these people the option to purchase, they would do it in a heartbeat. But you're sure. not giving them the option to purchase. Yeah. And they're like, no, we, That's me. They're, they're, like, they're scratching at their neck. They're fiending. They want their Dodger games. And then it's like, I'll give you money. And the Dodgers and Spectrum are like, nah, it's cool. It's Kershaw Day. I have to watch Kershaw. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I don't care what happens. Yeah. All right. So let's go to option number four. Option number four. And I hear, I hear Curtis, this is your supposedly preferential way. One of my ways. Of, of watching Dodger games in blacked out neighborhoods is that you are a member of several Facebook groups Dodgers, that are Dodger related and they'll be related. Groups. Yeah. And there's always a handful of people that are Facebook live streaming Dodger games. Yeah. Now, don't do it yourself. Do not do it yourself. I don't care if you're trying to do it for entertainment purposes only. Do not do it yourself. That's exactly how you end up in a lot of trouble. So I guess. Although so it's just you, a lot of times it's you the just same happen people. to be chilling on your I'm on Facebook, Facebook and you're reading updates and you're you're liking things and adding like the new gift things and yeah. all. All, I, all of a sudden, I, all of a sudden, a wild a MLB Dodger game appears, right? <laughs> all of a sudden, I got Cody Bellinger on my TV. So that is option how did that number happen? four. I don't yeah, know. Let's recap a, real quick. Live in a sports net neighborhood. Minimum. Have uh, MLB TV and live at a network. Get yourself a Cody box. Four, you can uh, Facebook view as someone somewhere that you have no connection to. Well, you're just on Facebook. Streaming. And you're just chilling on Facebook, right? Yeah. You're trying I'm to see that. what the people you went to high school are up with. Yeah, yeah. You're like, God damn it, man. Everyone's having babies. I don't need babies. And you're just like, <laughs> that, that's what you're doing yeah. on, on the Facebook. Yeah. Just happens to have a game. Right. Option number five. Option number five. This is more for you millennials. This is a little, a little too technologically advanced for grandma. But if you have an MLB.TV uh, subscription, you can log in to your web browser, grab yourself an anonymous proxy. That way you mask your IP address. You can, you can tell your computer, hey, I'm in England today. Hey, I'm yeah. in China. Yeah. And MLB TV will not geotag you into Los Angeles. They'll geotag you to wherever that IP address originated, sure. which is in another part of the world. And now you're technically out of market. Yeah. And then you can, you know, because you paid for MLB TV and that's your thing. Well, I think that's what's happening on the Facebook Live things yeah. too. That, that, that's how you can watch uh, through your MLB TV app on your phone, on your computer. And then again, if you have it on your on your laptop or whatever and you want to put it on your television, just Chromecast it. Or if you got a smart TV and you can log into the yeah. internet with your television. Um, though I don't know how to use anonymous proxies with the television, only with a laptop or a desktop. Well, no, you just, on the laptop, what you do is Chromecast, Google Chromecast, mm -hmm. again, no affiliation with any of these products. 
you but can. We should be. If it, wouldn't it be sick if Google sponsored us? Well, not for this problem. That would be but sick. You, what you do, yes. What you do is you um, have the Chromecast extension on your Chrome browser. So you have your computer, Again, or your laptop. Again, too advanced for grandma. No, too advanced for no, grandma. No, it's not. It's one. I click. guarantee you, my grandma can't do that. Okay. So you guys should be good grandkids and kids, and then help do that out for the older for the folks. older folk yes. that don't live in spectrum. We need the millennials setting up their. Oh, the what if we people. did that? What if we did that? What if we went to an old people home, right? <laughs> That's in a non-spectrum neighborhood, and totally just hooked them up with Dodger games. So do that you, would be our good deed. We, we're like the Robin Hoods right now. Now, do you still think? All this viewing of Dodger games that we're proposing, which, listen. It would make a difference. In you the know, all-star you, voting. You know who's the crazy people that vote like crazy? Old people. Like No, the rabid <laughs> high schooler fanboy really? fangirls. Okay. You're going to tell me that Corey Seager wouldn't have a legion of like like he teenage should. girls the way Justin Bieber and the One Direction kids and any other like NSYNC did when I was a kid? Yeah. You're going to tell me that there, there wouldn't be girls walking around high school with their backpacks and like their Tiger Beat posters of Corey Seager in their locker? Well, and by not and Cody seeing, Bellinger? By, by lots of people, millions of Literally Angelinos millions of not Angelinos seeing, can't not, see this. They're not seeing any of the um, sports nets. They're, they're not seeing the promos. They're not seeing, they're not the, seeing the 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 uh, the squeeze play. They're not seeing any of the classics. They're not seeing any sports net. They're not seeing Kelly Tennant. Anything. Kelly Tennant's hot. They, <laughs> they're not seeing her yeah. doing her promos. Everyone's missing out. Okay, everyone's missing so out. So this was all. You, I still think it was a good idea for Kenley Jansen to call out Dodger fans, though, because of all this stuff, all out of Kenley Jansen's you know, out of his hands. But I think him calling out Dodger fans was important because it got everybody going, you know what? Let's rally together and get JT in the All-Star game. Kenley Jensen Kent- is starting to fall into that Matt Kemp territory. With I am him. not Trade mad him. at him. Trade him. I don't think any, I don't. Trade I think him. you're the only person mad Trade at him. Kenley Jansen. Let's move on. So let's talk a little bit about the All-Star game and the home run competition. Cody Bellinger, by the time you see this Dodger fans, the home run competition will be over and we're hoping if Cody's in it, he might as well win it. Right. That's what I think. You don't like it because, of course, you think it messes up their swings. No, I don't think it messes up their swings. What do you I th- think that's why everyone else thinks. Oh, what's your I, reason? It's psychological. Oh. They give themselves the yips. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, especially the writers, right? Because the writers think they know everything because they're writers. Like, yeah. They're not bloggers. They're writers. They get paid and because they get paid to follow a team that they probably don't sure. even like. They're literally just getting paid to follow the team. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, well, you guys are crazy. It doesn't mess up their swings. Look at so-and-so and so. They're like, shut up. Yeah. It's not about the physical attribute of the swing. It's the mentality. It's the yips. Well, and, Cody already has the mentality of jack the ball in the air high. Right, but here, here's the difference between <laughs> – so, and, and honestly, I don't think he would win because he's not built the way Giancarlo no, and, and, and judges. Yeah. Because Cody is great to go up there and swing three, four, five times in that bat and then hit the home run for you. Is he built yeah. to have the endurance to swing literally 100 times over the course of 30 and minutes just, and just jack 500-foot bombs? Well, we'll find out. Probably not. So okay, but I don't like it because then I like the show though. The show it's fun. Well, okay, it's been fun ever since. What's I mean, I've never been a fan of it, but it it's kind of like the slam dunk contest for me. I think the slam dunk contest is stupid, but I'm glad that what's his face back 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 Chris back, Berman back, doesn't do it anymore. Oh, I thought he still does. No, I don't think he does. Oh, I hope he doesn't. I think. He I does. mean, I mute the thing. I, I have it on in the background and I mute it. I'm not a fan of him, but I do I do like the you know, look. Cody's dad's pitching to him. That's awesome. That's fun. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a fun, you know, baseball thing. Are you going to be living vicariously through his dad? Probably, yeah. And then your kid's <laughs> going to be like, "Hey, dad, come his look dad's at- my age. Shh, shh. His dad's my age. So that'd be like, I think we're within two years of each other. So it's literally like that. Cody could be my kid, <laughs> except for his dad was a major league baseball player, and you know, I wasn't. Um, but all the Do- I think it's fun for the Dodger players, and I, you know, I get it. It's kind of a waste of. Five days in the middle of the season, but it does get It's a 162 game season. They could be right now at home chilling. It didn't affect Xbox, any of the Cubs yet last playing year. Playing Xbox, hanging out, doing, uh, I don't know, watching Netflix, House of Cards, you know, whatever it is they want to watch. Go to the trainer. My point is, you are given four and a half, five days off in the middle of a 162 game season. Stay at home, relax, see the trainer, get whatever rehab stuff you need to get done. Like, just chill. Let your body recover. Just chill. Well, we're letting Aegon do that. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and it's not like this game is in San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle. It is no, across country. you're going all the way across the country for what? Yes. Just so you can sign a couple autographs? Yes. Well, I mean, I'm, you know, I feel like that it's a fun, you know, thing for the fans. Uh, you know, there's a lot of viewership. It's going to get people across the country to know 
people, if, if Dodger fans haven't seen Cody Bellinger and Corey Seager and Justin Turner play, and of course Kenley and Kershaw, they hear about Kershaw all the time. But you know, fans in Baltimore and Florida and Philly, they don't know. They've heard of Cody Bellinger. They kind of know a little well, Corey Well, it's because they don't have the national exposure that the Red Sox, the Cubs, and the Yankees do because we're not on ESPN yeah, every five minutes. Every five minutes. Yeah. And you look at uh, what's his face in Boston with K- uh, Kimbrell, and you look at Jansen, and their stats are almost identical this season. And it's funny because every other time that they pitch, they beat each other out for the record. They're passing back and forth yes. in terms of strikeouts versus runners allowed it's on base. What's, kind of what's happening with Kershaw and, and Scherzer right, right now. Right, and all, all, all I have to hear about is Kimbrel, Kimbrel, Kimbrel. It's like, uh, I'm sorry, East Coast biased media that doesn't stay up to watch games that start Same. at 10, 10 p.m. Look at Kenley Jensen. And yeah. understand that I'm defending him right now, even though I'm not happy with him. He's only had one walk this year. Yeah, it, I think it's like 55 to 1 or something. One walk. It's ridiculous. Yeah, one home run and one walk. Wait, he hit a home run? No, he's given up oh, he's one given home up. run Okay, and one walk. Okay, because I know he's, uh, he's batting 500 right now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, so let's talk about this. This is the, Could this be the greatest Dodger team ever? It technically is at the moment based on record and stats, but they've yet to win a World Series, so I'm going to say no. So, you know— yeah, we can't say they are until they win the World Series. I mean, but I'm just talking about Dodgers. Now, like, would this Dodger team beat the best Dodger team of all time in a heartbeat? In a heartbeat? In a heartbeat. Really? You put the, what, what was the greatest team of all time? The 28 Yankees, 27 Yankees or whatever? Yeah. You put them on the 36. field. 36. You put them on the field with the Padres, who are basically a AAA team. The Padres smoked them. Just because physically people are much more athletic. Yeah, and just... you're bigger, you're stronger, you're faster. I mean, you're not smoking in between innings and in the offseason, you're not a car salesman. <laughs> yeah. Like, these guys are born and bred to be athletes. Back in the day, they weren't. Yeah. And the competition's different. The 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 fact that we have just, like, advancements in technology and science and medicals and everything. Yeah. The, the shittiest MLB team would destroy, in a seven-game series, destroy the 27-28 Yankees. Really? Yeah. Murder is row. Yep. Wow. That's bold. I, I don't I don't believe for a second Babe that Ruth I, and I don't believe for a second DiMaggio. that 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 this team that lived in an all white guy era would do well against a team full of Dominicans and Cubans okay, and whites and everything that's else. True. That's true. Like we we just bring so much more to the table in twenty seventeen than we did in twenty nineteen twenty seven. So this, um, you know, we talked a couple weeks ago uh, when Michael Sandy was— Sandy Koufax versus this Dodger lineup. How do you think he would do? Sandy Koufax in this prime, 1965. Pitching against this Dodger? Well, he's a lefty. And we have trouble against lefties. A little though. bit, although this year I think we've gotten out of the trouble against lefties. I think we have the highest um, OPS against left-handers. Sandy Koufax would probably shut this team out often. If there in, was a— w- Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> here's, here's the difference, though. Here's, here's my question, though. Are we playing Dodger Stadium 1965 or are we playing Dodger Stadium 2017? Because the mound was higher, higher. back then, making yeah. it easier for the pitchers. Okay. So you're saying that Kershaw is better than Koufax? I would argue, I mean, because he's also, I would argue yes and no because Kershaw has the same advantages versus the hitters that the hitters have against him. Yeah. Where back in 1965, there was no tape replay. There was no stats. There was no analytics. Yeah. There was no, let me go review this. Kershaw can look at stats, analytics, and whatever on, on batters, while batters can do it against him. Yes. So I, I would I would split the difference and be like, eh. And Kershaw could get his fourth Cy Young this year. Yeah. As he's leading the league and wins. Though he should have four already. Yeah, we know that. But yeah, he's gotten ripped off a couple times. He could have five actually. Uh, I don't. The the Granky Arietta race that was really close for me, but the whole R. A. Dickey winning it over Kershaw. Yeah. Did you see that, uh, was it John Lester gave up 10 runs in the first inning I the other that. day with the Cubs? That was awesome. The Cubs are melting down. They're that's not awesome. going to make it. But they, they can't have repeat. the best clubhouse presence oh, yeah, that's that Brad right. Anderson's ever been in. Brad Anderson, that was best the best clubhouse, best clubhouse ever. Oh, my God. And he was just on the Dodgers. Yeah. It was mostly this team. Yeah. Okay, so this team's on a pace for 109 wins. Can we do the, I mean, can we keep up this pace? Can you play six, 670 baseball all year? Probably not. But even if they go 500 the rest of the way. 500. Yeah, 500. 500. 500. That's 97 wins. That's better than last year. Yes. That's 97 wins. That's still really good. Now, my fear is that they do go 500, and you're like, oh, that's still a 97-win season. Yeah, but that means they got really cold going into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have it backwards where we were 500 at the All-Star break and then play 670 baseball Kind of like what the Giants did a couple years ago. Yeah, you want to get hot. I mean, because 
Let's be honest. Let's say the Dodgers go out and and beat the major league record for most wins in the season, which I think is that same Yankees team, and it was like 128 wins. No, I think wins. the Diamond. Backs did or no? The, no, uh, Mariners. the Mariners did 118. Yeah, back, and what happened? And they to them? didn't win. They lost in the first round. Yeah, and that's the thing with with sports, where the regular season is great. But I, you know, like I always say, especially with with the Kings and hockey, the regular season doesn't mean anything. Get into the playoffs. The New York Giants, you know, the NFL will tell you that. Yeah, just get into the playoffs. I mean, the wild card team has routinely gone into the championship or the World Series, r- just regularly. It shows you how mental the game yeah. can be. Um. So I don't I, I don't believe for a second they'll keep up the but pace. But we need the best record in the National League. But we do need the best record in baseball so we can get home field advantage in the World yes. Series. And we're on pace to do that. Yeah. Although the Astros By are right behind. a long being, shot. Well, the, the Astros, sec- well, the Astros are one were, game behind us. Yeah. But in the National League alone, the second closest team is Arizona seven and a half games back. Yes. I mean, the, We'd the have to Washington go on a real Nationals are the, the Washington Nationals are the fourth best team in the uh, National League. Behind Colorado, who is now nine and a half games back yes. of us. So it's like just out of the division, the closest team to us is 10 games out. Not having home field advantage last year really hurt us. Yeah. And so I think that is prime number one. They need to get that. So I don't care if they have 97 wins or 103 wins. They need to get home field advantage. So whatever. We got a 10-game cushion at the moment. So I, I think we're okay. And like you said, getting hot is is at the end is more important. What about bringing in another starting pitcher? We've talked about this in other shows. We've talked about this for a while. I mean, going out and look. Because we've got chemistry right now. We do. But going out and looking at what's happening, I mean, uh, Chris Sale, Verlander, Archer, you Darvish, Cole Hamill, those are guys that have been talked about that are on the Dodger radar. No, not Chris Sale. He's on Boston. Um, He's I, I keep anywhere. getting Chris Sale and Sonny Gray, Sonny Gray. confused yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Uh, Sonny Gray out in Oakland. And I think that uh, it's it's more realistic to go after Sonny Gray because there's a bullpen arm available in Oakland as well that you can combo. Same thing with uh, Detroit, where a lot of people, for whatever reason, are like, oh, hey, what about Martinez? We could bring in Verlander with Martinez and whoever one of their relief pitchers is. Yeah. And you can package that deal. Meanwhile, you got Archer out in, in Tampa. Tampa's been out of it since the first day of the season. Um, and he's younger. You got you Darvish, who becomes a free agent at the end of the year. So he's a rental that's not going to cost us an arm and a leg. Um, but so you're okay giving up our next tier of top prospects yeah, the, this year because this could be the year. You know how I'm very much against owning prospects. Yes. Um, but right now the prospect that I think we do need to keep is Verdugo because well we got a center fielder. Well, you can move Verdugo to left. We don't have a left fielder. And what's been helping the Dodgers a lot lately is because we always bitch about. I heard oh, McCutcheon's on the block. And McC- get rid of no. He's he's doing well right yeah. now. But how much are they going to want? And the only reason they haven't been able to trade him the last couple of years, even last year when he had a really awful year, is because Pittsburgh's been asking for way too much. And I'm, I'm hearing that Garrett Cole might get traded too. And it's like, how much are they going to want for Garrett Cole, even though he's, his ERA is four and a half? Yeah, but his ERA would be way better in Dodger Stadium. All pitchers would be better in, in, yeah. in Dodger Stadium. Um, my my concern though is okay, like what are they going to give up? A, a lot of teams are asking about Verdugo. I don't like the idea of getting rid of Verdugo, even though it's a prospect, because Verdugo is going to come up in September and he may be one of our starters. He's batting three forty. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be one of our starters next year. And the thing with that is okay, so but we have Chris Taylor. We we do have Chris Taylor, but like what's what's bothered us, you know, since Zahidi and Freeman came in, is the constant shifting of the lineup, constant rotation. But ever since Jock and Logan Forsythe came back off the DL. The only thing that's been alternating every other night is left field. If it's not, if it's not, um, I always call him what's his face, Trace Thompson. If it's not Trace Thompson, <laughs> it's it's Kike. If it's not Kike, it's CT three. That's in left field. Yeah. That seems to be the only position now. Or second base. That's not solidified. The only time we swap out second base or our shortstop position is to give um, Cor- a, a day yeah. off for Corey or a day off for. For Logan, but Chase at least plays at second base He's like been playing once or amazing. twice a, a week now just to give Logan some time off. Uh, Corey gets one night off every eight or nine days, yeah. so you put someone in there. But it's, it's only left field that's got the constant rotation. So this lineup has been solid where these guys are not moving up three, four different spots constantly every night. Yeah. So I think the consistency Puig's has been helped. been batting eighth this whole time. He's probably the he is. He's the best eighth eight hitter and, in baseball and right now. A, a lot of people have been like, oh, okay, so what are we going to do with him? Because I, I believe next year is the last year on his contract. Yes. He get, may get moved right now or moved at, at the end of the year. I say I, don't move him. I don't think they move him because even though he's like a 230 hitter, defensively, Saves he, may, runs. he makes up for it. What's going to happen when Agon comes back? And he will come back. He's already hinted at retirement, saying that he loves. What? Yeah, he he was this like, year. Yeah, he, he was saying that he loves baseball but doesn't need it. 
And it's what? like it's like okay, so if if that's the case, let's let's put you on like front office payroll, make you some kind of ambassador somewhere, possibly to Japan. And you get on the recruitment block. The people of Los Angeles love you. It also helps that you're Mexican, and he's really great with the community. And he you know, is. he played many years in San Diego, so he's got fans up and down the coast. Yeah. Um, and you've never heard anything bad about this guy, whether it be on or off no. the field. And you know, this guy's got a lot of character, and he's never once vo- uh, voiced any displeasure about playing time or anything. He's a he's a professional. Um, so I think if if the Dodgers were like, "Hey, dude, phantom injury, go down." I don't think he would do that. I think he But I think he back. would be okay with being the backup to Cody Ballinger playing once every eight or nine days. This is Adrian Gonzalez we're talking about yeah, here. And and he is mature enough, smart enough, professional enough to understand that he's hitting two and change, like what is it, like two ten, two twelve? Yeah. And Cody Bellinger is hitting two sixty with twenty five home runs. Yes. True. I mean, you know, you can't take Cody out of the lineup at this point, but you can put Cody in left, and that solves our left you field could. problem for for the end of I the mean, season. I mean, you could do that. If you feel that Gonzo's going to give you a better opportunity, put him in first, put Cody in left. But Gonzo's going to have to prove that he's can get as back long, to raking. As long, as long as his back is not bothering him, he's a hitter. He's a contact hitter. Yeah. Is He's, he going to give us the, what did you say, 20 home runs? That was your bold prediction? You're crazy. Well, that was at the start of the yeah, year. Yeah, uh-huh. you're. Oh, he's going to give us 25 home runs, 20 home runs. He's, you're crazy. He was always market for 20. Let, let's pretend that he comes back as soon as the All-Star break is over and he's perfectly healthy. How many home runs does he have? Two? Yeah. And he plays every night and Cody moves from one to the left? He'll have he like does, 12. He doesn't hit. Yeah, I don't think he hits more than 10. But... He's those a line drive will, hitter. Those 10 will come. He's yeah, a, doubles. He's a, he's a, we'll he's a doubles. line drive contact hitter. I'll take doubles. Um, I, the only reason I think he's been not performing very well is because of his back. That's why his batting yeah. average is, has suffered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what's our gift for the day? Guys, our gift for the day, this is awesome. The way Anaheim had their rally monkey in 2002. We have our rally granny. Love that this woman totally just flashed the stadium. Granny together. Flasher. Granny Flasher. Was that the hashtag? I think it was the hashtag. Was it the hashtag? I don't granny know. Flasher. But it was fantastic, and it got the crowd going, and the Dodgers end up winning this one in extra innings. Tanks, who got that hit? It was CT3 that got that yeah, hit, right? Yeah, Is that appropriate for anybody? Is it not? Remember the woman in, in, in Miami that was all like, hey, look yeah, at me. Yeah, yeah. Only that didn't do anything. This lady inspired a nation, Dodger Nation, yeah. and the Dodgers won that game. She is a mini celebrity. She was trending on Twitter for like four we hours. We have to find out who this woman is. Dodger Nation, if you know who this woman is, let us know. Hit us up. We want to interview this woman. We'd like to meet her. <laughs> There's been a lot of pictures of do her. Do you think she's single? I don't know, but she's like 80. Doesn't matter. Okay. You're going to tell me people can't find love at 80? I- I don't know. I don't know if she's single or not. I'm, she, I'm asking. I just I didn't see who was around her, but she definitely had the audacity to. For some reason, she felt like she needed to Young flash everybody. Young at heart. <laughs> yeah. Or you know what? You know what? Here we go. I don't think she flashed everybody. I think what it was is that it was just really hot, so she didn't realize she was still on camera, and she went like this to like air herself. Really? That that could be it. Okay. That could be it. Well, she's become a mini celebrity because right, of that. But Dodger Nation, that's been our show. Remember, everything here was for entertainment purposes only. Go out there. Be safe. Don't do any of it. Go to Dodger games. That's go what to, I go say. To go to Dodger don't games. Don't do any of the streaming yourself. That's how you get in trouble. But don't forget to stalk us on Twitter at Best Coast Show. You can follow Dodger Nations on the Twitter at Dodgers Nation. Look at the behind-the-scenes stuff on our Instagram, also at Best Coast Show. You can follow us on the iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher. Do us a favor. Go to the iTunes. Leave us a review because it helps us get up in the rankings um but that's all i got you got anything else no that's it all right guys that's been our show and you have a good night